So, this is another little episode of Practical Magic, your everyday awakening. And this time I want to talk about... It's The topic today is recognizing cycles that play out. And this happened to me through an experience a couple days ago with my daughter where I just recognize a certain pattern that's playing out and I notice a tendency to project outwards onto my daughter rather than use the experience for why it's appearing to me, why it's appearing in my reality for my healing. And let me explain through an example of what I mean here. So what was happening It occurred over um, a couple days, two or three days, where I was getting the impression that she kept buying things, like she would want something, and I would fulfill that desire for her, like I I would buy her something, and then she would say, you know what, actually I really don't like that, and would decide, it's typically like a food item or something, and she would decide that she did not want to eat it, consume it, drink it, whatever it was. Um, and this happened a few times, like she wanted these specific popsicles and we go to this, you know, we stop by an additional store just to get her those popsicles. And when we come home, they're actually not the popsicles that she wanted, you know, and I felt the feeling of, I felt the feeling of like that guttural reaction. I didn't act it out, but that reaction that I feel, which I know is conditioning is something to do with oh, that's too bad, eat it anyway, or that's what we bought, you know, that sort of thing, like, and what promotes that thinking for me when I looked at my thought forms, what really encourages that form of thinking is believing in lack primarily. It's It's thinking that, like, if you don't eat that and you waste them, that's bad. And we shouldn't waste, you know, all of those things. And I, of course, I don't believe in purposely wasting things. But I was realizing that all of these reactions to my daughter over the popsicles, if I were to act them out, they really didn't feel good. So that's my number one cue that I am not coming from a place of awareness. I'm not coming from a place of spirit. I am reacting to an ego thought. And now this this situation repeated itself over the next couple days. And that's how I was made very aware oh, this is a pattern that's playing out. For example, the next day we were stopping at a store and I allowed her to pick out a piece of gum. And she was looking at all the different gums that she was wanting and she picked one. She's like, I'm going to try this one. And then as we were walking, she was chewing it and she's like, you know, I really don't like this gum. And I was like, oh, it's happening again. How interesting. And it happened again that same day, right after that. She's like, you know what, I think I I actually do want a smoothie. And there was a little smoothie place right there. I had offered her one earlier. And she gets a strawberry smoothie. And when she drinks it, she decides, you know what, I thought this smoothie was something different. Um, I actually don't like this. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's happening again. And it happened even again that day when we went to go get a drink at a restaurant. And she got this iced tea thing and she didn't end up liking it. Um... Anyways, because it was such a pattern, I was being made aware of something, and the, like I said earlier, the guttural reaction, the way that, the way that I think a lot of us, me included, are conditioned to project happens when I make it about her, like this is a lesson for you type of a thing, Um, where maybe we just need to choose better, we need to pay more attention to what we're choosing. Oh, you know, just eat it anyways, that sort of thing. And as I took a look at all of that thinking, I, I just sat with it for a second instead of projecting it outwards. And it was very easy to recognize since it was such a repetitive situation. But anyways, as I looked at my own thinking, I became aware that I don't like any of those beliefs that I am holding on to. I really don't like those. And something that I would much rather display to myself primarily because it's always about yourself but also if I'm going to teach my daughter anything through my actions through my example it's that you know what honey if you don't want that you don't have to eat it if you don't like something by all means put it down and I am not encouraging wasting that's not it it's just that when we when we are hung up in the lack mentality that we think that you know wasting is 
it's a very it's a very physically oriented mentality where we think that we must consume something or do something or be with somebody or whatever because if we don't do that then it's something's going to be missing or we're going to cause harm rather than really listening inside and and what I just wanted to encourage my daughter to do in those moments what felt so good in those moments was to just encourage her that she's okay in listening to her instincts and her guidance. You know what? You don't like the gum? That's okay. You don't have to eat the gum. You don't like those uh, popsicles? You know, and the story is, oh, we went to that specific store just for you, you know, and you could project shame and guilt very easily. That's the reaction that a lot of us get, me included. But just being willing to sit with those feelings rather than act them out and project them onto my daughter, it was such a gift because they turned around on me and and as I sat with them, like a whole new way of seeing it was made clear that offered me release in my life because I see what I'm projecting onto my daughter, I do to myself all day long. How many times do I, you know, maybe not fully listen to my body and eat a whole plate of food just because I don't want to waste the end of it when I'm really full or, or little things like that, you know, or I'm hard on myself. Oh, you know, you, you drove all the way over there and then it didn't even end up working out. Oh, shame on you or, or what a bummer. That sort of thinking is really a drag. And as I play those stories out with my daughter, that's the example I'm giving her. Although there's no guilt there either, right? We're really getting out of guilt. This is all for learning. But just as a note to myself, it felt very good to be able to use this this situation um, for healing, for what it was meant for, to be able to sort of break this little cycle, this little pattern that I saw appearing, recognizing it for what it was, and then use it for um, my own awakening. So yeah, that's the story I wanted to share today. That was a very fun little experience, very heartwarming. And ultimately, I felt uh, more connected after that. I think my daughter did too. You know, very seen, very understood. Yeah, moral of the story is um, so many times with my kids and with anybody in general, but, but especially with my kids, I see patterns play out. Like the same occurrence will happen and it seems to be like a tendency. And... It is very tempting to project that onto the other person and make it their issue rather than using it for what it's for in your perception. Because my belief is that if it's arising within my perception, it's for me. And every time I project it or make it about somebody else, I'm totally missing the point. And uh, I'm actually missing an opportunity for greater joy, connection, and um, yeah, happiness. So that about sums it up. Thank you.